Hey guys, welcome to the channel Health Tricks and Tips in English, the best pregnancy centric channel. In this video, we will learn what happens to you during the last trimester of the pregnancy and how much the baby has developed so far. So let's start the video. The last trimester comprises of 7th, 8th and 9th month of pregnancy that is approximately 30 to 40 weeks of the pregnancy. During your 7th month, it is very much easy to hear baby's heartbeat. When someone will place ear on the mother's stomach with some effort, the baby's heartbeat can be heard. The baby has started sucking the thumb and the length of the baby is approximately 30 to 40 centimeters. Baby will weigh 1100 to 1400 grams. The taste buds of the baby are fully developed and so the baby has its own taste. So whatever you are eating, the baby can like it as well as it can dislike it. During your 8th month, the baby has started closing and opening the eyes. The eyelashes and the eyebrow of the baby are developing. Baby's limbs, that is the leg and the hands are fully developed by now. The movement of the muscles are in the accordance with the nervous system. By now, the baby should weigh anything around 1.5 kilogram and the length of the baby would be around 19 inches. The baby is developing at a very fast pace and now the space inside the womb is very very less because the baby is now bulkier and there is very less space for his or her movement inside the womb. So you will feel very less movements by now in the 8th month the baby will head towards down that is in the pelvis region. The baby will fix the head in the pelvis region and so you will feel less of the movements in the lower half of the stomach. By now the baby is free to move his hands and legs and so when the baby is turned upside down you will feel the movements at the upper section of your stomach and also in the sideways because now the baby is giving you movements with his hands that you can feel on the side of the stomach and with his legs that you can feel in the upper part of your stomach. So this will normally happen between 33 to 36 weeks of the pregnancy and this is known as baby dropping. By now the baby should come in this position because this is the position that will facilitate your normal delivery. In the ninth month of the pregnancy that is almost 37 to 40 weeks of the pregnancy the baby is almost fully grown up. The length of the baby will be around 20 inches and the weight will be approximately 2.5 kilograms. The whole body of the baby is covered with vanis casasova. It's a kind of a viscous substance that will help baby in retaining the energy the heat that will be required by the baby when he or she comes out in the real world because the temperature difference is there inside the body and the outside world and the baby will feel cold. So this coating will help the baby in getting cozy in the outside world as soon as the baby comes out. So this is how the baby will look like and behave in the last trimester of the pregnancy. Pregnant women will show some of the symptoms like there will be some increment in the blood pressure as the baby is grown up the baby weight is increasing, you will feel lots of pressure on your gallbladder and that will often force you to go for the frequent urination. Also in this trimester, problem of swelling is very much common. You can have difficulty in standing up or sitting down and also in sleeping. It is always advised that you sleep by your side, take the right turn or the left turn but do not sleep on your back or on your stomach. This is not at all good for the baby's development in the womb. Do not engage in the heavy exercise and do not start any exercise on your own. Always exercise in the supervision of an expert. Have a good diet. Avoid traveling if you can. Be in consistent touch with your doctor and the hospital because anytime in the ninth month you can have the labor pain that you need to understand how you will distinguish it from the false labor pain and also also, you need to understand that you should not consider true labor pain as a false labor pain and false labor pain as a true labor pain. If you want to distinguish, the link is flashing above. You can go to that video and understand how you will distinguish between the two. I hope this information will help you out. If you like the information, kindly press the like button. If you are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon and then select all to get all the notification and never miss an update from health tricks and tips in English. Let's connect in another video on pregnancy. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy.